Hi everybody and uh, welcome back to another recording. I am Psyche and as always I will be your host. Okay, so I'm back on the Total War Warhammer game and I've been trying, this is my second multiplayer game that I'm doing and I'm still with the green skins. I'm hoping that I can find a nice little balance with this army, but this is the second game, so this is the deployment for my army. Everything stayed very much the same. I still have Azak the Slaughterer. I have two of the Arachnorok Spiders. I have three squads of Orc Boys. And I think the last one's hidden. No. It's one, two, and... Mm. Okay, I have three squads of Orc Boys, and then I have two squads of normal Orc Biggins. I have one squad of Black Orcs, and the difference between the last game and this game is I'm just bringing a squad of the Savage Orc Boar, uh, Savage Orc Boy Biggins. Alright, and then I still have my three squads of Savage Orc Archer Boys. Alright, so for this game, I was hoping to draw a nice opponent. I ended up drawing a Dwarf opponent, and this map was, whew, to be honest, pretty horrendous for me. Um, we've got all these marshes we need to go through to try and get to him. So that's actually a very big space. Plus, our deployment zones are quite far apart. And, as always, we have cannon, cannon, and we had a... If I could find it. There we go. And an organ gun. Alright, so there's going to be lots of, lots of shooting at orcs initially. Alright, so I'm just charging off straight ahead as fast as I possibly can. He doesn't really have to do much initially as it's mostly just artillery going off. Let's see if I can try and find it somewhere. Alright, so I've got the uh, uh, um, Savage Orc Boy Biggins. They channel a big shot there and they're trying to get around. So the plan was to just move them around and try and just get to the artillery. Hopefully I could stop some of the damage from, from coming in. Um, I know in the, oh, hmm, cannons are actually good at hitting these things. I know in the last patch they actually fixed the organ gun. They weren't doing proper armor piercing and he's shooting at the black orcs. They weren't doing proper armor piercing damage against uh, large targets, but as you can see there, they are they are piling in really hard. And he's got these uh, gyrocopters, all right, which is going to come after the, the orc boy. Uh, pick up the calf. All right, and there we go. Oh, that is amazing damage coming in. Um, I'm trying to just get there as fast as possible. To try and minimize. Oh, look at those blood splatters. That is amazing. And there's little bits and pieces lying around all over the place. So we are running in. This is quite a scary sight. If you look at it, and everything is just shooting at the spider right now. And it's you're gonna see. It's gonna take so much damage. It is ridiculous. And this guy knew what he was doing. Um, he actually waited for me to make my decision before he made his decision on race. And once I made my decision, he ended up with just long beards with great weapons. And then some thunderers, but a lot of a lot of artillery. And you can see this thing is already more than halfway down. And they're actually gonna make a break even before it gets to the line. There, right there. So it actually broke before it got to the line. This Arachnorok Spider got in there fairly easily, and this this here, I think this actually kills me. Because getting through here while getting shot at is brutal. So I've got the cavalry coming in the line, wasn't right, so I had to quickly reposition them first. These guys are still coming after them, and I've got, still got cannons going off with this poor little, well, poor big spider. So here we get a charge, but it was a very nice fall. We get both artillery pieces, so I was very happy about that. Here we've got guys incoming. More guys incoming, more guys incoming. Although, at this point, I feared because the the uh, staple of our army is the Arachnorok Spiders. We've invested so much points in them. Um, I was just trying to... Initially, I thought, let me rather let it regroup a little bit. And then I actually forgot about it for a bit. <laughs> uh, boo boos happened. So we've got Fate of Bajuna going down there on the, on the Warriors. I'm trying to just get the cavalry to do damage there. So I was hoping that would do damage this time around. I did roll well. So, not a lot of damage happened there, and if we check in here, we can see it's it's really not going well. We are 
fighting really hard, but and we stuck in quite nicely. But I mean, this is this army he had had anti anti infantry infantry, and it had uh, uh, armor piercing artillery. It did a number on us. At this point, uh, I didn't want to get I didn't want to get the slaughterer involved with the slayer king. And again, uh, just too much happening. I actually forgot about the Arachnorok spider for a little bit. Um, I didn't want to get the Slaughter King too involved um, yet, so I was actually just going off the flyers. Um, I had the Archer Boys on them, but they were just not doing any damage whatsoever. So I've got Spirit Leech going off there. I've got my Orc Boys charging in there. Uh, these guys aren't really doing a lot of damage, but you know, I mean, if you if you look at the fights, the, um, even my Black Orcs are losing. Uh, my normal big guns are losing. Uh, my spiders are dying very quickly. We've just got routing all over the place, and there are even. S yeah, I think the map pretty much just killed me. All right, so we're trying to regroup. We're trying to just get everybody together. At this point, you kind of think, you know what? It's probably not going to happen. But <coughs> excuse me. But you know, I mean, we always try. So we're charging in there, trying to just free up these guys before they're up didn't happen they ended up ranting it anyway or I think that it yep so there we go off goes our foe seeker or what is currently active so and that's pretty much all we got left is our entre boys these guys look at that look look at this look look how fast they're moving this is this is oh this is brutal okay so we've got the spider going off and uh, we do have the slayer king there just chilling <laughs> More thunderers coming in. We've, we've at least got to the to the artillery pieces. Uh, the slaughter is killing the flyers, um, at least. But we're routing too hard all over the place. We've got uh, more of the the longbeards in here just fighting our guys. We had three archer boy squads fighting these longbeards, and we had the savage orc or brigands in there, and we couldn't kill them. Uh, they, they just don't die. Alright, so if we view from this side, so there's our spider and he's going to break again. Uh, our other spider is close to breaking again. So much blood and so many body parts. Blah. Okay, so Thunderers do exceptionally well against them as well. Right. And yeah, so we were trying very hard to make something happen here. The Slaughter did well, he killed most of the Flyers at this point. Uh, we still had the Archer Boys, but the Arachnorok Spiders, they are what makes the zombie work. And unfortunately, we just couldn't end the area breaks, and this was the final break. Uh, he doesn't come back. That one doesn't come back. From now on, if anything rounds, they're just not gonna, they're just not gonna come back. They won't rally. And eventually, I wanted to charge him in there and just try and get a nice charge off and then fly away. And somehow I managed to forget to fly away early enough because I was hoping this was my last ditch effort. If I could kill his HQ, uh, no, I mean his Lord, you know that could have that could have helped. And I was trying to run and I just couldn't get out. He just didn't want to leave the combat. So, oops, and there he dies. Poor little the slaughterer got slaughtered, and everybody breaks. This is a this is the beginning of the end. So there we are. Um, this is my second game online. Honestly, I didn't expect win upon win upon win. I'm not. Uh, and then we can see we're routing, we're routing, uh, we're routing there, and we're routing there. So that was about it. 18 seconds of running away like cowards. Well done, green teams. Um, yeah, I didn't expect to do much better than than what I did. I, I honestly think if perhaps if the map didn't have all these little marsh lands and puddles that you had to run through. Um, it could have gone better if I maybe tried and slip my army through here rather than just going straight through there. It could have gone better. I don't know. This will take a bit of thinking, but hopefully, hopefully we'll learn from this and, uh, you know, the next game will come back bigger and stronger. I'll also be doing, like, a couple of different races, you know, just, just having fun with it. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching, and then I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.